Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. What you're hearing right now has been recorded after I recorded this episode. And the reason that you're hearing this is because I wanted to let you know that in this episode, I'm actually spending a lot of time in Serif headquarters. And what I'm doing is I'm going through a lot of emails and I'm going through a lot of eBooks. That's not to say there aren't other things happening. And I'll refer you to the table of contents that I've provided in the comments below. So check that out. A couple of highlights that are, that are gonna be of interest to you uh, in this episode specifically. Uh, I spend three Praxis points, okay? There's a janitor that knows a little bit too much and has me questioning what really happened when I was under the knife. Uh, further to that, there's some information we find out about patient X, which is also really interesting. Uh, there's some neuropazine emails. It looks like there's some thefts that are happening. There's also an inter-office romance that we find. We talk to Malik, Pritchard, and we find out through the ebooks a little bit more about the current state of the world and potentially people becoming more associated with their companies than their country. Uh, really interesting stuff. So I would advise you guys to really pay attention to the ebooks and the emails in this episode because there's a lot of subtleties that could easily be missed. I have sped up the footage when I'm reading the emails and the ebooks just for this episode because there are a lot of them. And if you want, you can pause the video when I'm reading them and you can read it for yourself as well. So thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate the support on this series. I'm having so much fun with it. And here's more Deus Ex. I have a very big, important primary goal right now. I need to meet Malik on the roof, and I think that's just outside these doors. Now, uh, I do want to say I do have two Praxis points available, and I'm thinking I'm going to go into Social Enhancer. And I think that's a good idea. So let's. I'm just going to commit. I'm just going to commit. And socially enhanced. Look at that. Look at that. I'm already instantly more popular. Chicks dig me. And I've got way more friends. So. Good on you, Praxis Points. Okay, now I do see a computer here that I need to check out. And a pocket secretary. What is this? China boy. To. Oh, right to Zeke. Akalitos, here's another hacked code, opens the manager's pewter in admin building. That's awesome. Please enjoy responsibly, winky face. Jace, Thorpe, and Hydra. But, I am gonna hack because I'd rather get the experience and possible, uh, data stores. Not in this one. Okay, so I need to make it up to green. It's go time. I'm fortifying just because I can. Access granted. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, from Seraph himself. Josie, as you know, we're in dire straits here. We need to fulfill several large orders for the alphabet agencies. The Typhoon being just the first of them. Interesting. We depend on these contracts for a significant portion of our revenue, meaning that successful on-time production and delivery of these orders is absolutely necessary to maintain our bottom line. It's extremely important to make the necessary preparations to ramp up production in the plant. I'm going to need a detailed overview of this month's production schedule by the end of day tomorrow. Sorry about the last minute request, but I'm confident you know the drill. I have faith that if we knuckle down and pull together, we'll knock this one out of the park. David. And then we've got from scowlingmask.ni, urgent response, attention, the president slash CEO. Dear sir, confidential business proposal. Having consulted with my colleagues and members of the information gathered from the Nigerian chambers of commerce and industry, I have a privilege to request for your assistance to transfer the sum of 47 million 500,000 credits into your accounts. We bought some results from an over invoice contract executed, executed a commission and paid for five years ago by a foreign contractor. The action was, however, intentional. And since then, the fund has been in a suspense bank account. A suspense account at the Central Bank of Nigeria Apex Bank. We're now ready to transfer the fund overseas, and this is where you come in. Blah, blah, blah. Nigerian scam. That's awesome. <laughs> if you find this proposal acceptable, we shall require the following documents. Banker's name, telephone account, and fax numbers. Your private telephone and fax numbers for confidentiality and easy communication. Your letterheaded paper stamped and signed. <laughs> Ultimately, we will furnish you with the text of what to type into your letterheaded paper, along with a breakdown explaining comprehensively what we require of you. The business will take us 30 working days to accomplish. Oh, my God. The sad thing is that people have fallen for those emails, man. Those are real things. We've got a... What is this? Look at this. We've got a squad. Who is this for? It doesn't even say who got this frickin' diploma. Josie, are you a fraud? Did you- are you the one sending the Nigerian emails? I'm not even being racist, don't even go there. God damn. Oh, what are these guys doing? Hello? Nice job securing the plant. I wouldn't have thought a security guard could handle this. Not even an augmented one. God 
Damn. Well, I'll have you know, I handle it. Nice job securing the plant. This is awesome. I Look at him. I thought a security guard could handle this. Not even an augmented one. <laughs> Give it all you got. Damn. Give it all you got. 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 <laughs> Give it everything you got. <laughs> Way to secure so the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. I saved a life, you prick. Sorry, Mr. Thorpe. So, the target is on lockdown. You're the reason we were kept out of here. But my wife. Great. in there. I hope all your little secrets are locked away good and tight. Ooh, sounds like a threat. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Thorpe here. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. Swab will need to debrief her. But you'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I... I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. He's got like glitter on his hat or something. Something shiny. What is that? Seriously. I can't thank you enough. Okay. Let's go talk to Malik on the roof here. What if? What if I found like the best weapon of all time right behind the chopper? And it, we were, it was just there. Nobody's ever found it before. Yeah, that'll, that'll never happen. I understand. Okay, let's fly in the booby. What? They replaced it. They changed it. It's now the boob. That's weird. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. Oh. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? I wonder what's true there. I have no reason to stay, so let's get going. Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. We almost have another Praxis point anyways, so... There goes the view. Serif. I like that. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? First of all, I think she might have a thing for me. I think people... Yeah, um... I, I, I felt great, man. The takedowns? Loved it. You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't pay you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. That's really nice. Let's let's hear about the first attack. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. Oh wow. Okay. I want to know what sh what you experienced. You were there that night. 
What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Okay, what else? Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending, and Mr. Seraph is not pleased. That is interesting. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. That's crazy. One thing I do want to point out is the nice little uh, flowery motif on my shoulder pads. Only I can pull that off in the manliest of ways. We're gonna leave. I also want to say that this is further proof that I'm probably patient X because she, Malik here, says that Megan Reed said to her, Malik, that I would take to the, like, I would take to the augmentations and it was in my genes. And that can be interpreted a lot of different ways, but I'm thinking I'm that Project X or Patient X, whatever it is. I'm gonna find a Malik, one way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Okay. She obviously wants to ride my augmentation, that's for damn sure. Uh, so I have to go meet with Pritchard, give him the Typhoon. Or the, the augmentation that I picked up. Let's see if it's... Is that actually in my inventory? Quest inventory. Yeah, check this out. Examine. The Typhoon augmentation prototype. This is a prototype of the advanced personal defense augmentation called the Typhoon that Seraph Industries has developed for use by United States intelligence agencies. Okay. Very cool. So I have to go to Pritchard, and then I have to go to Seraph, but maybe this will be an opportunity where I can actually explore the offices a bit more now. Those are some top-of-the-line augmentations Mr. Seraph hooked you up with, Jensen. Did you get a chance to test them out at the Milwaukee Junction facility? Absolute. Surprised he got you so many, though. I mean, the info link? How does that one classify as a life-saving measure? Actually, yeah, that's a... Actually, that's a really good question, Janitor. Another attack? Can't wait to see what the Humanity Front says about it this time. No doubt Bill Taggart will cry innocent and use the opportunity to stir up more controversy. You know he's coming to town soon. I did not know. These smokers, man, they know all the shit. Especially the janitor. Because he brings up a good point. Like, why did he outfit me with all this stuff? Like, he must have planned to use me in some way like this. Can you believe those fanatics? I mean, they think taking hostages will get augmentations banned? But still, it's getting pretty rough out there. Can't even walk into a limb clinic these days without getting harassed. Maybe the United Nations should do something. Jensen, you back to handling security around here? Because somebody's stealing supplies again. What kind of supplies? I had vials of neuropazine and a stim pack in my office, and they're gone. They didn't just up and walk away. Somebody's stealing neuropazine, huh? That is interesting. I think I could go in this door down here. Yeah, cool. Oh, this is where I came out in the first part. Let me actually take the way up then and explore a different area. I'll only talk to one more guard. Talks all over the office, Mr. J. You really took care of those purity first assholes. Wish I could have been there to see it. Wish I could have been there to see it. 
Love that. Hands research. Okay. <laughs> yes, Mr. Odd, you can read. Success. Oh, we got new news stories. Naishia returns in triumph. Eleven... Oh, she's an augmented, like, star. Naishia Akeem, the fully augmented Nigerian pop star, swept the Planet Music Awards tonight in Los Angeles, winning in six categories. Her latest album, Yoruba, about her struggles with discrimination, poverty, and more recently, augmentation, has captured the hearts of fans worldwide. Afterward, Akeem spoke about the difficulties of living with enhancements. As a woman of color, living with augmentations is a challenge. You become a stranger in every culture. And your opposite is so expensive. Thank God I am blessed enough to be able to afford it. It is a struggle, but it has enabled me to continue doing what I love, performing. Critically injured during a terrorist attack in Lagos in 2025, Akeem appeared at the PMAs for the first time in two years. That's cool, but I wonder, like, if you could augment somebody's voice or just how far they go, because you might give people unfair advantages and stuff like this. Ante Og Taggart coming to Mullins. That's Bill Taggart uh, coming to Mullins Convention Center. Perhaps surprisingly, in a city that has historically supported augmentation, Humanity Front founder Bill Taggart's upcoming appearance at the Mullins Convention Center is nearly sold out. The development may reflect the growing wave of support for anti enhancement groups across the nation. That's interesting. Jensen, you were there, at the plant. What happened? How did that monster get away from you? I mean, I'm sure you did everything you could, but what if he does it again? Yeah, I'm probably going to take some heat for that, aren't I? You Letting that guy go. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder Eliza if Kassan. Oh, there's Taggart. Alright, let's get moving here. First things first, I am going to go up to my office and finally check things out. Wanted to be there for a while. You have to take an elevator to go to the bathroom? That's excessive. Okay, what do we got here? That's my computer. This is a security hub. Oh, I just have to hover and it'll change. I don't see why I would need that yet. Like, why would I turn these off? Not enough space. Damn. Okay, let's make space here. I know a lot of you guys are saying, drop the weapons, drop the weapons, but here's my thinking, okay? Before, before you get upset. I'm thinking that I would like to sell the weapons. You know? Let me take a energy bar here. And then I'll take the painkillers. And then I'll eat the painkillers. And I'll take the wine. <laughs> Pocket secretary, what is this? New login from Pritchard. A. Jensen and Mandrake. If you don't like the password I picked, live with it. Okay. Should work on my home computer. I wonder why I wouldn't like the password. I don't think I can hack into my own computer. Yeah, I need a higher a higher rating. Okay, we're in. Words aren't enough. Oh, he already emailed me. That's nice. I meant when I said the plant today. You saved my life in more ways than one. When those gunmen took my Josie away, I thought, well, you probably know what I thought. Please let me repay you. Josie and I are back home safe in our apartment. We live in a third floor condo on Brooklyn Court. You can find the entrance behind the Second Street gas station. There's something else about Second Street gas station, like um, like a weapons cache or something that we read somewhere, I think. Stop by next time you're in the city and I'll have something for you. Margulis. Adam, I really don't need to bug you on this, but I think I've got another suspect from those neuropathine thefts. Okay, that guy outside said that too. I caught Denzel Mitchell going over my stack of virtual life purchase orders. He said he needs to verify the legal address for a contract David wanted him to look over, but he'd have that address on a dozen correspondences already. For a lawyer, you think you'd be able to come up with a better defense. His door code is 1364, by the way. Okay, Denzel Mitchell. What else is this here? Oh, interesting. Okay, so she also mentioned... It's really good to have you back. I'm your top priority right now. Someone's been stealing neuropazine. First noticed it three months ago, I had Frank run the lab security tapes. Frank wanted... Usually had nights when Will Rosalini was in charge. Frank wanted me to search Will's office, 3716. Okay. So he's in Office 23. There's a couple people we need to check out for the neuropazine theft. I guess I can handle that. It's not like I'm busy saving the world or anything. Okay, I do want to just see... I want to kind of work my way from the top down, I think. And 
I'm gonna f I want to fully explore these offices because I think it's interesting that um, now I have access to certain offices and I want to see who's working with me here see if there's anybody I can trust so anybody can just come up here and use the bathrooms He's oh I can't you'll have to come back later yeah I can't talk to him until I go talk to Frank so there's that There's already a lot of things developing that are- it's very, very interesting, I think, anyways. Helen Strickner, what's this? And, uh, you guys are still, um, there's still some back and forth on whether or not to check the bathrooms. I imagine I'm not gonna find anything in our employee bathrooms, but... Sometimes people said that you may find... Um, pocket secretaries and stuff like that. Other people have said it's not really worth it. And I think these are too high for me to hack, actually. So I'll tell you what. I've got... We don't know that for sure. And if they hadn't been considering it, Bill Taggart wouldn't have gone to Geneva to give that damn speech, and no one would have tried to kill him. There's no way you can say that for sure. Let me finish, Will. We had the world's sympathy for a while, but isn't it funny how quickly it turned on us? We just need to show the world what good human enhancement can do for people. We need to finish what Megan started. Yeah, these guys really respected Megan. Bill Doble. Okay, where are these damn offices? I thought there was one right over- was it this one? Yeah, here we go. We have this code. Yoink. Another e-book. Global Politics Review. Facing the Dragon. China casts a long shadow. Since the 2000s, the Chinese bloc has been a steady climb towards superpower status. Su supplanting the USA as the world's economic engine and most sophisticated military force. This is, yeah, this is interesting. Marked growth in many areas of industry have made the People's Republic a major player in the many fields, notably in the emerging technology of human augmentation. Without the regulations imposed on human trials by other nations, the People's Republic of China has have been fast-tracking their augmentation research. Many fear that China's actions may grant them a monopoly and thus strengthen their position still further. However, despite technological advances, China's at all attitudes toward human rights and the environment have not progressed. And rumors of atrocities both people against both people and planet life are rife. The confirmation of these statements is difficult to obtain given the PRC's iron grip on the nation's media. Yeah, it's heavily censored there, so that makes sense. Another pocket secretary. From Shine Ferret, Hackernet, to Denzel Mitchell. You know, Danny, for a lawyer, you're a pretty good pretty cool dude. Thanks for checking the P.O.'s purchase orders. Would have done it myself, but Seraph's bitch, uh-oh, has had my number for way too long. If she'd caught me with him, oh, he must be talking about uh, Megan, I'd have been toast. You know she's got Cassie implants, don't you? I think that's what I have now, the social enhancer. Anyways, from what you told me, I'm sure Micah Pines behind those thefts. She's in purchasing, types out the P.O.'s before Margulis signs them. It'd be so easy for her to change the figs after. She's out of the office, haha. <laughs> Till Thursday, so I just got got to get into her office for then. Snake gave me the code to 27. Next door to her is 4145. I'm thinking of letting myself in there and using air ducts to cross into her office. Don't worry, I won't sue if anything goes wrong. That's interesting. So, inside of her office... Alright. I'm gonna drop the wine. Inside of her office is a uh, vent to go into other offices. This guy's computer's unlocked? Come on. Frenetic pony. This conversation history was automatically saved. We can't let SWAT to the plant. There's too much at stake. I'm calling Jensen in. He's still on medical leave. Markovic gave him a clear bill of health last week. Ooh, he's not typing very well. It types like me. And how much pressure was she under, huh? I resent that accusation. Resent it all you like, but you hired me to protect your ass. You got away with the surgeries because of that neat little clause we had in the contract. But if something happens to him now, it won't. Trust me. It's your call, boss. We saved his life for God's sake. I don't think he'll be suing us anytime soon. What the fuck's going on here then? That I have no clue. I see Margulis, Denzel Mitchell. Hey Denzel, when you got a second, you stop by. D David's asked me to draft a formal little to TYM, declining their also generous offer. I want to make sure I get the wording correct. So this guy, um, Denzel, he's a lawyer uh, for Seraph, I guess. And Pritchard's security email. Got it. So we're on the. Th These are all 30 offices. The other ones are all down in the 20s, I think. But maybe what I'll do is I'll see if I can 
Is Pritchard on this level? Oh, maybe Pritchard's in the 20s. Okay, yeah, I think Pritchard must be down below. I can't, couldn't remember exactly. It's funny how, like, I'm all augmented out, but I can't run for more than two seconds at a time. Is this the one? Nope. I don't buy for a second he was with Frida's. I think someone slipped him into Sandra's group to manipulate those thugs. Yeah, but who? Who would know we were developing the typhoon? Same people who attacked us last time, Roy. I mean, come on. We were testing it when they broke in. That's right, true. I'll give you that. So what? You think a foreign government is behind this? Governments aren't the only ones hiring mercenaries these days. Isole, Kusanji, Taeyong Medical. Any one of our competitors could be behind this. Yeah, man. This is, uh... This is an intertwined little story we got happening. Okay, Pritchard. Let's just... Let's make this as like least painful as we possibly can I already read this take your damn book well if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself come to honor us all with his life preserving presence if this is about the typhoon I'll get to it in a minute now Pritchard I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy adapters <laughs> well look at you using the big words don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I thought the first question I ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. <laughs> Stay out of the ladies' restroom. <laughs> that is awesome. And I just got another Praxis point, too. So that's pretty gnarly. <laughs> that's really great. Okay, now to investigate the neuropazine scandal of... 2027. Speaking of 27. Okay, here is... This is what we're talking about. The Neural Hub... Oh, another Hugh Darrow book. Excerpt from paper in Neonature. Neural Hub technology is viewed by some as a millstone about the neck of cybernetics research, but such commentary indicates a failure to think outside the box. In fact, the Neural Hub has always had the capacity to grow beyond its function as a gateway for cyber integration. These implants developed in the beginning of, as components in every shrinking cell phone, TV, and MP3 player parts comp comprise numerous physical processes integrated on one physical chip, but the key is the threading. The subject controlled by a software enables more efficient processing on the hardware. Each input from the nervous system generates some multiple threads. What I propose is a combination of multiple processors tied close to the human brain's own superlative multitasking capacity. Effectively breaking down the barrier between the complex sub -design, hub designs of current iterations in the subject's own mind. In effect, we allow the hub to work in the human brain. An analogy, instead of a relay race where one participant is slower than the other, it becomes a ride on tandem. That's really cool. So they've ex they've modified existing technology to actually work inside of our brain. That's cool. From Cindy to Diane, don't be pissed at me, D. All I wanted when I said it was that. All I meant when I said it was that maybe, just maybe, they made a mistake. It happens all the time in those crime scene shows, and we never actually saw the DNA results. Don't you want to believe that Meg could still be alive? She was. What? Some people think that Megan's still alive. Okay. Uh yeah, Lyle just told me, work out. Hey, Gail, you hear they're thinking of cutting vacation days? And what the hell? Oh, okay. Still up for happy hour downtown? Overtime policy. Okay, great. Overtime. Okay, do people still think that... Do people think Megan's alive? Is that what's going on here? What the shit? Now I'm confused. Okay, we are in to another office. Another book, Scholar 200. Transcript of a seminar given by Hugh Darrow at the World Biotech Summit in Tokyo. Next I'd like to share is one in which we analyze the security and privacy properties of an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Oh, so this is like talking about the thing that's probably like, <laughs> talk, about, talk about the thing that's probably like, 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 Jesus. Pacemaker technology and is designed to communicate wirelessly with a nearby external programmer at the 175 kilohertz frequency range. After partially reverse engineering the ICD's communications protocol with a 
oscilloscope and a software radio, we implemented several software radio-based attacks that could compromise patient safety and privacy. At this point, cries of outrage from participants interrupt Mr. Duro. He looks up surprised, loud gabbling sounds. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please. I'm certain this crowd quiet enough for Mr. Duro to speak. Listen, I'm not here to talk about the philosophical nature of what we do in occupational science. That's not to say I don't understand the ramifications of my work. Just that I feel there are better thinkers than, than I, more suited to the task. My prowess, my genius, if you'll forgive me for calling it that, is in the creation of these engines of human improvement. I'll leave it to future generations to decide if I am remembered well for what I've created. He seems very like well balanced, this guy. But what I will say is this: at no other time in our history, as the dominant species on this planet that have we as human beings, had so much power over our own bodies as we do now. We are the threshold of an age where the tyranny of biology can be defeated. Someone born blind, someone whose legs are claimed by some tragedy, someone who once could hear and now cannot. We can offer hope to them. Nature no longer has the upper hand. Yeah, see, you know what? I tend to agree with him. Okay, here's the computer I had to check, I believe. There's these energy bars everywhere. These people leave their computers just boom, unlocked. Excessive vacation requests. Oh, to, to Mika. She got the phone with Aaron from every season. She told us all these vacation days you've been using up lately. Haven't been vacations at all. Why didn't you come to me, sweetheart? If I'd known how difficult it was for you to set foot in your labs, I could have done something about it. Look, I'll speak to David, he'll understand, and maybe we can get workers' comp to reimburse us for all the weeks we've, you've been missing. In the meantime, stay home, try to relax, and keep up those sessions with Erin. She sounds like a really helpful person. David Sarris, good morning, everyone. I know you're still reading for what happened here several months ago. The devastating loss of so many good people and so many of our friends and colleagues is something to which I personally find impossible to grasp. I swear you will never be able to replace them, but I swear you this. We will rebuild. We'll pick the shattered pieces, not let them succeed. Right now, I'm, in I'm just kind of skipping around here, but constant communication with the authorities who are investigating the attack. As soon as I hear anything conclusive, I'll let you know. In the meantime, Frank and the rest of the security team will be working tirelessly to ensure that this company, that all of you remain safe and secure. Okay. So why did I need to get in here exactly? Oops. Let's see what's going on here. Meet with Greg's Thorpe. The office. Things are just starting to calm down. Now, I think these are the only two other offices. Oh, Will Rossellini, here we go. Okay, we are in. Next week's decades, where will we be in 2050? There was once a time we believed that the world would become a monolithic nation state, a kind of United States of Earth, brought together under the global ages of a super governmental body. But now that prediction seems quaint and hackneyed. The reality is that we live in an era where sovereign nations and the formal governments of countries are little more than lines of demarcation upon the world's maps. More and more, the citizens of the world lend their loyalty not to a flag, but to the only true transnational entities that still thrive corporations. We thus foresee a time when people will be citizens of their employer's nation rather than Chinese, French, Canadian, etc. in this world. But we have thought of this traditional nation complex such as America will frame it in order to find our own equilibrium. That's actually a really interesting theory. That is, that is cool. You're opposite thefts. Here we go. Don't get me wrong, I'm not accusing him when it's search. It's my responsibility to stay on top of things. Oh, look, it's come to my attention that he's sending this to Will. That your has been disappearing from the lab, especially on, or usually on nights where you're working late. Can you explain this? He says, what exactly are you accusing me of, Frank? Yes, I have taken quantities of your out of the lab. It's part of my research. But I have also logged each and every drop used and placed all unused supplies back in the freezer before leaving. And I was not the only one working late those nights. Talk to Bruger. He'll verify it. Ted Bruger. Whatever Megan's team has was on to with that patient X strand is simply amazing. That's, I think, me. I ran the test three times just to be sure none of the usual rejection markers. After eight weeks without neuropathy, this is unheard of, Will. Listen, I gotta take off. You have got to see the results for yourself. Come to my office, room 32, if I chance the door is locked, 9642. Okay, room 32, that's where we're headed next. Actually, we'll just see if I can get into this one. No, okay. I don't have that code yet, and I don't think there is a, a vent in here. Doesn't look like, anyway. So let's go up to room 32. The neuropazine scandals continue. What the shit? Where did 32 go? Oh, these must be odd numbers, and then we've got even numbers on the other side. It's a very, very well planned out floor plan. Here we go. Okay, now I've got a vent and another book. Tomorrow's man, Daryl's father, Sir Martin Daryl, media mogul and founder of Pikes Communications, enrolled in the prestigious Straight Skate Cliff School and later the Stow School. A natural athlete, he was a captain of football, rugby union, and cricket teams. Beyond these sports, he found school to be boring and unchallenging. I wonder if he was augmented. He was a captain. His personal interest in designing and building computer-controlled mechanical devices, a crude robot aged 10 and made sure for Boxlab 16, finally led him to the world's first robot wars competition in 94. Failed to win, but while discussing design ideas with other robotics experts, he heard about human motion studies being carried out at Stanford University, aimed at designing better prosthetic devices for amputees. Derek sent his stay at the USA to several biomechatronic researchers. So he wasn't augmented yet, but uh, we know he, he eventually was. 
Final Crocs study, final test results. Initial variables, test conditions. Biomatrix Composite 1 was created using the R7 biochip. Okay, it doesn't help me. Biomatrix Composite 2 was using the X1 biochip, which uses the PIOT cluster array developed by M. Reed, so divided by Megan, and incorporates the mutagenic chemical composition first revealed in her patient X study. Tissue samples taken from both composites were tested every seven days for ejection markers associated with onset of DDS, Darrow Deficiency Syndrome. <laughs> Hugh Darrow, Darrow, okay. Observations within three weeks of testing, Composite 1 exhibited low levels of cytotoxic M and DDSY enzymes commonly associated with the onset of rejection th syndrome. The quanti quantity of these enzymes increased as expected, with 20 cc of neuropsin being administered in week 5 to break down glial tissue buildup. Composite 2, on the other hand, showed no sign of either enzyme appearing until week 6. At this point, trace levels of CM were detected but disappeared in subsequent weeks. The solution to hypothesize that the enzymes were actually a byproduct of the formation of newly extruded neural tissue compatible with the original matrix forming around the PDOT cluster. Additional tests must be conducted to confirm this. Luckily, David informs you that new tissue for patient X has become available in recent months. Also, they probably harvested some tissue on me when I was out. I'm thinking. Or maybe it's not even me at all. <laughs> Which is totally possible. Oh, damn. I don't have a code for this. Can I hack? Ah! Oh. Tell you what. I think what I'm going to do for my praxis... Where's, where's my hacking ones here? Stealth, arm, skin, leg. Hacking analon. Uh, I don't want to add on. This is just for fortify. Oh, here we go. Level two. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, getting a little bit more intense. Can't capture that one, so I have to go here. I may as well go here, here. Or I'll go here. And then does this one only affect the things it's connected to? I'm not sure. Oh, it makes this one super easy. Access oh, that was granted. close. Very nice. Okay, I guess I'm full of surprises. Andrew, you gotta tell me what the hell was that the other night. First of all, I had no clue you were interested, no idea you were still in the lab. When I went to put the extra no pause away and caught you reaching in the freezer, well, needless to say, it was a very pleasant surprise. Thank God Rosalina didn't walk in on us. Oh, shit, you weasel. Alright, well, that was worth the hack. I guess. Another book, The Bell Tower Way, Corporate Background Brief. The Bell Tower Group provides a maximum spectrum private military security solution for every need. The company was incorporated in 1997, beginning life as a security consultancy and close protection bodyguard agency. Currently with offices in Afghanistan, Bahrain, blah, 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 hardscraper. Other key facilities include a maritime base in the U.S. Gulf Coast and a training, The Bell, Bell Tower Way, maximum spectrum private military. Bell Tower services are tailored for international clients. It is also registered an active UN contractor. We provide specialist security and risk management solutions to counter extreme threats, along with exfiltration, KR, threat neutrality, operations, and quick react symphonic defenses. That's really cool. Oh, credit chip, yoink. Little detective work, greetings. To Andrea Van Weasel. What is this? Shine ferret. Nuclear snakes got an assignment for you? Come to my attention that someone has been stealing neuropsy around here for quite a while. You know that stuff costs a fortune, so I suspect someone's selling on the black market. We need to get to the bottom of this and bring it to David before Jensen does. Feeling up to a little late night detective work? I've got an Intellicam that's ready to record while it's inside the lab's freezer. But it'll look strange if I get caught in there placing it. You and the other hand are always full of surprises. You up for it. What is she putting in there? And telecam that's ready to record while it's inside the lab's freezer. So they want to record who's stealing the neuropathine. And then, as she's placing it in there, this guy walks in. And then, they hook up. <laughs> office. Office loves tales. Scandalous. And slutty. Quite slutty. Okay, what is the next quest we have here? Meet with Seraph. Alright. I think we're all clear. Let's just check my office here. Yeah, we're good. To Seraph. Okay, finally going to meet Seraph. Woohoo! Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. <laughs> Stay out of the ladies' restroom. <laughs> that is awesome.